Okay, hello everyone. Um, I am going to be talking about empowering learners, um, uh, embedding uh, UDL in Moodle courses. Uh, so my name, in case you don't know, my name is Alice Childs and I'm the Learning Technologist Manager at Griffith College. So these are two lovely badges from the National Forum, which I'm very proud to have been awarded in the autumn on a really great course on universal design and teaching and learning, which they ran uh, for a matter of, I think it was 10 weeks, um, beautifully designed course. And um, you also get the opportunity to become a facilitator as well, which I was, was keen to do. Um, so um, I'm going to tell you a bit about my project on the course and how that relates to um, uh, the the uh, training I got in in the autumn and how the courses um, that I worked on as as my uh, project um, uh, reflected what I was learning in the uh, with the national forum. So I'll move on to badge criteria. So for the um, national forum course, it was actually a course that was a collaboration between AHEAD and uh, UCD. Um, so these are the criteria. Um, I'll just um, add my little spotlighter thing. Uh, so uh, reflect on the diversity of your students was the first um, element. Gain a good knowledge of the UDL framework, uh, which um, I'll be showing you in this presentation. Um, deepening your understanding of UDL through peer engagement. Redesigning some elements of your own teaching and learning practice. Um, in the project that you're completing and consider how you will change your practice more broadly in line with a UDL approach. So if I click on, yeah, so using UCD's toolkit, which was part of the resources that the course provided, um, I went to the virtual learning section and there were these four um, guides or that you could it was set up like a tick box and so going through them there were elements that we were doing we were already fulfilling at Griffith with our Moodle uh, VLE um, however there was there was scope for improvement but it was good to see that there were elements that we were um, managing to to fulfill already um, so uh, so accessibility was uh, what I was aiming to acquire um, on this, this short course and in my projects and these projects. Um, the exciting thing for me was they were going to be live projects where everything I learned would feed into them immediately. Well, that was my, my plan. Um, and the going through these um, guides, uh, facility exists to life for provision of reasonable accommodations. <clears throat> Um, students have the facility for making multiple attempts at uploading assignments. Uh, that's some, that was one of the, the, the learning that I'll, that I'll show you as we go along. And then um, clear instructions and guidelines uh, are provided to students uh, using the VLE um, and face-to-face -face support. Now we do have a fair amount of that. Um, so that was one of the things I could tick already. Um, so this is um, just a quick glance at the um, UDL guidelines on the course. These um, include uh, engagement with students, so purposeful um, um, and motivated uh, approach to, to learning, um, then representation um, and uh, action and expression. So, you know, are your students being engaged in their learning and are they getting a chance to express themselves uh, perhaps in, in, in uh, something like acquiring um, badges or, or competencies, perhaps that, that would be the way you could um, consider that or in assessment, are they getting a chance to express themselves? So these were our guiding principles on the course and to feed into our projects. So I'm just now going to move to um, the, our Moodle VLE. And um, I, I think you, you're seeing this. Um, I hope you're seeing the, the VLE now. 
as opposed to my slides. Um, so to start at the beginning, uh, the reason um, I wanted to work on the course was um, the, the, the um, National Forum course was I felt that um, we could make improvements on our own VLE um, in its use uh, for lecturers and learners. So um, we had conducted an audit in the summer um, between the e-learning team and the IT support team. And while we found that a lot of um, uh, our VLE pages were in good order and um, uh, we, were, we, were, we were quite pleased with the results, we still found that there were pockets where there was lack of engagement and certainly lack of standardization. Um, so we wanted to make improvements there. And that was my motivation meeting um, um, uh, plan when, when taking on the project. So this is our Griffith e-learning support page, which is um, it, it's, uh, set up and facilitated by the digital learning department by learning technologists. Um, so there, are, this is where historically we had just placed um, materials for lecturers um, to, to be able to uh, quickly gen up. So I'll just, I think the best thing to do is if I quickly scroll down, so you can see there are some embedded video materials um, and then there are all sorts of video guides. Um, they're they're, they're uh, entitled correctly so that, um, sorry, I've bounced off the, whoops, I'll go, yeah. I bounced off momentarily. Um, yeah, so they're, they're, they're set up and they're entitled fairly correctly, but it's a bit bog standard. Um, each of these um, icons uh, is a step-by-step -step video guide with narration. It's quite, they're quite easy to follow, um, but basically this is what I like to describe as a big old repository. And so it's not the most conducive format for um, our lecturers to learn on. So I'm going to click off this now and click onto one of these um, courses. Now we this this group that I that I was working with, it, it was our e-learning team. It's made up of um, the digital learning department staff, library staff, um, some of the uh, one staff member from the education faculty, and then um, IT. Uh, as backup. So this is a collaboration, you understand. Um, it's uh, very much a collaboration um, and I wouldn't want to take all the credit for it by any means. Um, but we, what we did in the autumn was <clears throat> we put together four courses over a matter of um, two or three months. So this was the first one that we began with and it's the um, Moodle uh, for lecturers foundation course. And as you can see, lecturers can just work their way through in a step-by-step -step fashion. So, and they're building on a Moodle page as they go along. So putting in a profile, a welcome section, um, uh, the uh, profile block with um, information there. Um, so they get a sense of building as they go along. So it's quite empowering. Um, and um, at the end of this, course, short course, that they come away with a basic Moodle page, a standardized Moodle page. So that was the plan um, to get lecturers getting quick wins and feeling that they are achieving um, something solid. Um, so then moving into uh, onto the next course, this was digital tools for lecturers. So uh, not the Moodle tools as such, but um, but it, but again, delivered as a course on um, Moodle. So here we have um, material on hybrid teaching because that's what we were pivoting, pivoting around to uh, in the autumn and then getting started on Moodle. Now, what I wanted to show you quickly on, on this page was on the right-hand side, you'll notice these little tick boxes. And this is um, indicative of activity completion. Uh, which is feeds into some of those uh, uh, UDL guidelines in terms of um, you know feeling motivated, but we began to also uh, we 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 you, we brought in this completion progress bar as well on this this page because um, again we wanted to give 
lecturers a sense that they were bit by bit, step by step, achieving um, the, the progress on this course. So that um, was um, a useful innovation. I've just moved on to our student um, Moodle learning course because, again, we wanted to find a way of rather than just an induction day, which can be a bit of a of a, of a, a brain swamp for learners. We created this course um, same time around uh, October. We kicked off October November, November time. Um, so here we uh, really uh, began to try to pull in some of those uh, ULDL guidelines for engagement. So we have students knowing how to log in, of course, and um, then um, using the app. But um, you know, uh, here they got a chance to edit their own profile in a kind of dynamic way, and they would get feedback from one of our facilitators, and they were encouraged to use the forum. Um, moving on down, taught about messaging, and um, then this is their opportunity to upload, up, upload mock assignments, fake assignments, um, just for the practice of getting used to the submission points, be they Moodle submission points or Turnitin submission points. So I think that that we were very pleased with, with these elements. And then there's a nice little campus interactive map, which I wish I had time to show you all these things, but um, that's something that the students can click on for the, those heady days when they'll be actually back on campus again. Um, so that's our um, student page. And um, I'll have to move my, my little tool uh, or thumbnails to see the badge here. On the right hand side, you'll see we're experimenting with badges as well. And that's something that I have more to learn from the National Forum. But um, again, it's part of the motivation for the students taking this, this uh, particular course. So then um, uh, finally, I'll move on to this is our intermediate Moodle course, which we were building in the autumn but we decided we'd hold off and just launch um, in the last uh, two weeks uh, because um, the lecturers and learners had so much on their plates that um, they, uh, we've, we felt we'd hold back and give lecturers a chance to get through and start to prep for semester two. Um, and we, we give them this nice new course and launch it with a, with a fanfare. So this one, um, I'll show you a few more elements then. I'll click into this uh, arm overview uh, video. Now I'm making sure that the um, that we're on mute and we are uh, just to quickly show that um, we we did we were mind being mindful at the time of um, rep representation. So I'll just click on a bit here so that you can get a sense of that. So some of the characters that my colleague Greg O'Brien created in this little. Uh, video. I'm double speeding at the time. It's not quite this speedy, but the, you know we're trying to be representative of our student body um, in this uh, little video. So that's again one of the guidelines that we were working to. Um, scrolling on down, we were using more advanced um, tools and activities. So this Moodle Pages activity. Um, shows use of uh, some more sort of multimedia elements. So if I can click back here, we show how uh, the lecturers how to use um, the uh, audio recording elements uh, of uh, tools and how to embed elements on their pages. And moving right along, uh, we've, we showed them how to uh, link up with um, Microsoft um, forms so that their students can benefit from that sort of interactivity. So um, just to Alice. Thank you. So I'll go back to my slides now. Um, we were working to the um, uh, the um, index survey, um, and that was one of our motivations to standardize our Moodle pages because that was definitely one of the asks from students in the survey, and I think. Um, uh, we, we were successful to some extent. So were these again were the our guidelines, uh, our, our, our guiding um, uh, 
um, um, pillars. Um, I'll just stop my. Uh... So um, very quickly, then yes, I, I know I'm out of time, but um, just to say, um, these are some of the potential benefits for um, uh, uh, improving the the uh, VLE, and um, finally for future activity. My hope is to standardize um, throughout the college you, with hopefully this, um, this course, these courses will help that. Improvements using bringing in alt text and um, uh, other forms of interactivity, a more flexible approach. I think we brought in choice variety and activity um, to a large extent, and we'll be um, taking some of the learnings from this Moodle Munch Brunch um, in terms of competencies and, of course, use of badges. Um, and we'll be reflecting on our uh, survey uh, at the end of the year to see how students and staff enjoy the courses and, and learn from them. So I've overrun a little bit, but um, no worries, Alice. Thank, thank you, everybody, for your attention. Thank I'll you for sharing. Thank you very much for that. That was really fascinating and amazing to see the transformation in those Moodle pages.